The group announced its readiness to work with youth across the country to educate them against negative impact of being used as political talks. Convener of the group, Dr. Ledo Miti, blamed insecurity and collapse of business in the state on electoral violence, describing it as capable of bridging democratic norms. Dr. Miti called on youth not to be part of the process that will trigger violence in the state. We will thus mobilize the citizens and residents of River State to brace ourselves for sustained and concerted actions and activities with a view to building on and even complementing efforts undertaken in the recent past by eminent citizens of the country and even INEC itself to curb the menace of violent and fraudulent elections. We will undertake advocacy visits to INEC and the various security agencies to seek their partnerships and commitments in the drive for a free and fair election in River State in 2019. The focus here will be enlightening the citizenry of their rights and duties and that defending the integrity of the votes are crucial and the linkages between credible elections and good governance. Other stakeholders want the media and the security agencies to collaborate and be part of advocacy for violence-free elections in the country. When we talk of unemployment, they vary from state to state. We have three seaports in this, in this state. On Elijah Terminal, on the Federal Ocean Terminal, and the main seaports. We have a petrochemical. People are coming here to ferry products of petrochemical to other parts of this country to produce goods and generating jobs in the process, generating even revenue from government in the process. But we are losing all that because we must get power by all means, including introducing violence. So these are the things we are going to join this big job, take it to the street, take it to our houses, take it to the marketplace, take it to the churches, and get people convinced that there is a better return from free, fair, credible, and non-violent elections and business we do. Part of this initiative is actually to seek that audience and advocacy with state security officers. And that's why, as the media, you have the role to play. We need to put them in the public domain. They are actually being paid by money with their as taxes. And so they cannot actually be seen to be against the people they are supposed to protect. They, however, pledge to partner INEC and security agencies to tackle violence covering the 2019 general elections from Port Harcourt. Liberty News.